again, just a quick update. I managed to pick up a few more bits and pieces for the workshop. I've got some drawer units, a bit of carpet, some more shelves, and they've even got a little heater as well and an angle poison lamp. So I'll just show you what's, what's new. Okay, so I've managed to acquire a few bits and pieces. I uh, found some more shelves. So there's five shelves there with all the legs and the nuts and bolts and everything to hold them all together. Um, I managed to get a little fan heater, which takes the edge off if it's cold out here, which at the moment it is. I've got a couple of these little wooden drawer units here. Uh, they were being chucked out from the shop, and yeah, they've got some of them have got dividers in. Um, so yeah, they'll come in quite handy, I should think. I've got my angle poise lamp here, which does quite a nice job of illuminating the workbench, gives a bit of extra light. The present tube up there is okay, but uh, you know, the extra light is always handy. Uh, I've got a little bit of carpet down here as well, so it feels a bit more homely. This is on loan. I'm going to get the bigger piece when I've uh, managed to find one that's going to fill the entire area here. And I've also moved that shelf unit back and off cross slightly so that that bit of wood, um, I've measured it out and that's roughly where the edge of these orange shelves will be. So that still leaves about a three foot walkway through there just so that people can still get in and out of here. Um, eventually some of that pile there is going to move so I can then move this shelf back level with that one but at the moment I'm probably going to have to build it roughly here so that it doesn't take up too much space and block access around the back there so uh, that's the uh, state of affairs at the moment so I'm going to have a go at putting these shelves together and go from there right I've just been having a bit of a move around I managed to get both the drawer units underneath here on the shelf under the workbench uh, I had to move all of the wood that was already on the workbench, but it's all underneath there. So I've managed to get both draw units on there. They're practically made to measure. At that end, they're hard up against the thing. And at this end, there's only about a 10 centimetre gap, which is very handy. So they're all within easy reach. And the angle poise lamp's quite handy, because obviously it's an angle poise, so you can point the light where you need it. So that was quite handy, because it's a bit dingy under there at the moment. So yes, more progress has been made. And progress is good. Okay, I did find this bit of wood as well, which is quite handy. I've put it on top of the workbench up against the wall here, and there's two reasons for that. First off, it blocks off the hole at the back of the workbench there, which you can guarantee I'll drop a screw and it'll bounce down there. I'll drop a tool, it'll bounce down there. Children, cats, pretty much anything that can fit down the back of that blooming workbench will never be seen ever again. And also, it should stop that massive bloody hairy spider from coming up here as well. Mind you, there is a big gap at either end, so where spider wants to go, a spider generally does go. So I don't think I can do much about that. But uh, at least all my screwdrivers won't vanish down the back of the workbench. Right, I'm actually having a bit of a rethink with this uh, shelf unit going across here. Because I think, basically, no matter where I put it, it's going to get in the way. So rather than having it this way around no matter how far back it is this corner is getting to get in the way so i'm thinking i'll actually put it this way around instead so this kind of becomes a bit of a no man's land i suppose but at least it'll be it's less in the way it's easier to get around there it's not you know if we need to get the table out it's not in the way so i think and also, it's a freestanding unit. If I want to, I can always move it later on anyway. Um, the other thing is I have got a large drawer unit at the shop, which is being thrown out, which I've been offered. And that is 90 by 30 centimetres. These shelves are only about 80 centimetres, so it's going to stick out. So thinking about it, this gap, I've got to take another 10 centimetres off it anyway. So I might as well put it there. So that's the plan. That's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to put it there or at least mock it up and see if it'll work okay i've come across a bit of an issue with these shelves i was going to try and put the unit together and then sit it over the top of the drawer unit with the feet resting on the ground either side of it unfortunately these shelves are about 30 centimeters wide and then you take off the three centimeters on either end where the l section sits over it on the corners and that leaves only a gap of 24 centimeters now the drawer unit is 30 centimetres wide and is 90 centimetres long. These shelves are only 80 centimetres, so the drawer unit would have to stick out one or both ends of the shelf unit underneath it. 
that's not going to happen and I don't really want to build a shorter shelf unit and just sit it on top of the drawer unit because it will fall off at some stage somebody will bump into it or whatever and whatever's on it will get wrecked and I don't want that to happen so I've come up with a bit of an idea what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another taller shelf unit where that orange shelf on the floor is now basically butt it up against the black unit that I put together yesterday and then I'm going to put the drawer unit in front of it so it'll come out to roughly where that bit of wood is now that has two advantages. First off, the shelf unit will be pinned in place and it can't move. Second off, it leaves a wider walkway for people to get through. So I think that's a bit of a win-win. The other nice thing is I've got plenty of bits and pieces for this system. I've got loads of spare legs and I've got a couple of spare shelves. So if I want to, if that shelf unit, if I need a bit more room, I can build another unit which sits on top of the shelf unit, sorry, the drawer unit. And I know I said I didn't want to do that, but I can bolt it to the one behind it because this is... Well, it's full of holes so I can bolt two shelf units together and they'll be nice and stable so that I think is probably the best thing to do now it does mean that until I actually get the draw unit here there's not really a huge amount I can do in terms of working out where things can go I can put a shelf unit together about the same height as that but it might be a bit wobbly and I don't really want to have a wobbly shelf unit out here getting in everyone's way um, so the best thing to do is probably to get the drawer unit here and then play around with um, where everything can go and just generally try and sort of figure it out as I go really. So that's probably the best thing to do. So at the moment there's not much more I can do in here so I'm going to call this an evening. Okay so just thought I'd uh, show you roughly where everything's going to end up. So the orange shelf is where the shelf unit is going to be and that's going to be stood up against the side of the black shelf unit that I put together yesterday and then those two legs they are about the same size lengthwise as the draw unit and I've spaced them apart the same size so that is basically where the bottom of the draw unit is going to sit and it's 90 centimeters tall so that shouldn't get in the way too much if it does get in the way in that corner I can always move it this way a little bit um, the carpet's a bit in the way, but like, that can always tuck under the front there. And to be fair, this carpet is only sort of temporary anyway. So that is probably where everything is going to end up. Um, the green box there is going fairly soon anyway, so that won't be in the way for too much longer. So that's probably the best thing to do is get the draw unit down here and kind of work around that and see if I can work out where to put everything. Okay, so rather a short video this evening, unfortunately. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. Uh, with the drawers and the shelves and everything, I think I really need to get the drawer unit here before I can start playing around with the shelves. At least I know where I'm going with it now. Um, I did manage to get a few bits and pieces done, though. I've got all the drawers underneath the workbench here. I've got my heater and my lamp in here, and I've got a bit of carpet down, so it feels a bit more like a workshop rather than just the end of a garage, <laughs> which it is, but there we go. Um, so, yes, I'm going to call this an evening. So if you like my videos, please consider putting a like on them. Um, there's a couple of other videos you can watch here and here. And if you like my channel, please consider subscribing here. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.